Welcome, welcome everybody to the Northwest Sportscast. This is the icebreaker where we discuss the top stories from the NHL season. I'm your host, Levi Kubert, and um, before we get into it, one quick note. We are still looking for a co-host of the show. So if you are a hockey lover um, who wants to get involved with the Northwest Sportscast and thinks that you have the ability to help with the hosting of the icebreaker, we would love to have you on board. Uh, le- <clears throat> excuse me. Leave us an email over at the Northwest Sportscast official Instagram account. Uh, leave us a DM there, uh, and we will consider bringing you on board. We'd love to have you. That being said, let's get into it. This is the NHL Icebreaker Episode 1, where we talk about Week 1 of the NHL season, which is now underway. Uh, Pretty exciting stuff. My favorite team, of course, the Edmonton Oilers. uh, Not doing too well. Currently at 1-3, four games played. They've scored just, uh, they have just two points right now. So uh, that's, that's how they're doing. But yeah, uh, let's get into it. So Vegas Golden Knights, they're undefeated so far, looking pretty pretty solid at 3-0. and So we've got Montreal, 2-0-1, and so they're looking pretty good right now as well. Um, Tampa Bay, 2-0-0, and the Lightning obviously trying to get back uh, to the finals again. And, uh, and we've got Washington also is at 2-0-1, so the Capitals are having a good season as well. Uh, Pittsburgh not doing too well. They're one and two. Chicago is zero oh and three. Uh, that is, that's really not good. So yeah, the, you look at the Blackhawks um, having a disappointing, losing five to two yesterday. So uh, not a good season, not a good start to the season so far for the Blackhawks. Just the fact that they've been able to play, is it weird how they've broken up the teams? Yeah, obviously it's weird to see that you know all the Canadian teams obviously in. Uh, in two divisions, and then you've got, uh, or in in one division rather, and then you've got the other three for the whole uh, American uh, divisions. I, I I don't know how much I like it. I kind of prefer the other um, the other format better. But even the fact that even the fact that they're having a season is pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, it's just too bad um, that they had to split it up like this. But obviously, you know what happens happens. COVID uh, is a thing. So yeah, Vegas currently sits atop the standings. Uh, one one hundred percent winning percentage. Look pretty good at three and zero. Toronto, Montreal, Calgary, and Washington rounding out the top five. Uh, so yeah, those are the top five. Look at the bottom five: Chicago, Dallas, Vancouver. Edmonton at 28th, pretty sad there, and Pittsburgh 27. Right now, there's 31 teams in the NHL. Obviously, the 32nd coming next year, the Seattle Kraken, which we are super excited for. Um, but yeah, you look at the uh, look at the stats, seeing who's uh, who's on top of the league. Yeah, um, Mitch Marner currently leading in points, along with John Tavares, uh, both of them. On the Maple Leafs and uh, Jack Eichel on the Sabres, Taylor Hall also on the Sabres, and then uh, Tomas Hurdle from the San Jose Sharks. Uh, goalies, really good percentages, some people. Uh, obviously, the stats will will definitely change over time as uh, as the season progresses, and, and it's the same way with football, baseball, and all that. Um, but yeah, you look at the... Uh, you look at the stats, Mitch Mar- Mitchell Marner having a pretty good season right now. Uh, the Maple Leafs also with John Tavares, so uh, they are looking pretty pretty solid right now. And Buffalo with Jack Eichel, Taylor Hall, so Buffalo Sabres have some great uh, scorers as well. And uh, yeah, right now games played, a lot of people have played four, pretty much everyone has played four games. Uh, yeah, 47 players have played in four games. So, uh, obviously, I mean, that's what you expect to see. A lot of players who've played all the games. Um, currently leading in assists is Jack Eichel. Yeah, with those six. He has not scored any goals, however. John Tavares, three goals, three assists. That gets him to the six points. Um, penalty minutes. Oliver Bjorkstrand <laughs> has the most. 
So that's uh, it's not the best honor you want to see. Also, Bobby Ryan, 17 penalty minutes. Ross Johnston, 16 penalty minutes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of just going through all the stats right now. Um, power play goals. John Tavares with three. He leads the league in that. And power play points. It's also uh, Tavares who's tied with Thomas Hertel. Yeah, so uh, Tavares is off to a really great start, uh, clearly. And uh, and then you look at uh, game-winning goals. Jordan Cairo of St. Louis has three, or two, has two game-winning goals, which is pretty impressive, I think. Um, nobody has more than one overtime goal. Patrick Lane, Igor, Sharangovich, Kirill Kaprizov, Max Pecorietti, Morgan Riley, and Marcus Johansson all have one. So that's how the overtime goals are looking. Yeah, and then you can see the uh, the goalies, how they're doing. Um, yeah, most wins, Semyon Varlahov, Jesse uh, Saros, Andre Vasilevsky, Jacob Markstrom, Robin Leonard, Cam Talbot, and Carter Hart, as well as Jordan Bennington and Frederick Anderson. Uh, they have the most wins, uh, most losses, Miko Koskian is three. He's one and three. Not very many goalies. Uh, Miko Koskian is the only goalie who started more than three games. He started four. So that's, uh, I mean, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, look at save percentage. Alexander Georgiev is at 1%. So he's uh, saved every single goal right now. 23 saves and no goals against. He's only played one game, however. So uh, who has the most saves? That would be Miko Koskinen, yeah, 130, 15 goals against. Um, yeah, you can see, like, John Gibson having a great season right now. He has a 937% save percentage uh, with only six goals against and 89 saves. Um, Jesse, uh, Juicy Soros, 71 saves, three goals against, 959%. So, yeah, some of these goalies putting up some really great numbers right now, but obviously uh, we expect those to fluctuate pretty pretty rapidly across the first couple of weeks until things have started to sort of even out. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much you know, goals against average. Georgiev, zero. Uh, Semyon Varlamov, also zero. So uh, pretty good uh, stuff from these these goalies so far. Hurricanes, Predators, that game has been postponed. Um, looks like it's because of COVID. Well, I think with that, um, I'll give you guys my, my top five power rankings. And then, uh, and then we're going to call it. You can be on the lookout for more hockey videos uh, to come. Lots more to come. But for now, here we go. I'm going to give you guys my top five power rankings. So number one, Vegas Golden Knights. They're playing really well. Three and O. Oh, six points right now. Uh, they look really, really good. So uh, Vegas is number one. Number two, Toronto. Uh, they're three and one. Um, also with six points, four. So I'm really liking the way Toronto's been doing this as well. Uh, they are, they put together a really great team. Number three, I'm going to go with Washington Capitals. Um, they do have only two wins, but I think when you have Ovechkin on your team and you have the team that they have, I think Washington's going to be very competitive going forward this year. Number four, I have Tampa Bay. Um, haven't, lo haven't lost a game yet. They got four points right now uh, with a 1,000 winning percentage. Uh, I think Tampa Bay is going to be a serious contender this year as well. And then number five, I have Montreal. So, uh, so there you go. There's my top five power rankings. Uh, be on the lookout for a lot more hockey videos to come. Without further ado, this has been The Icebreaker, episode one. Remember, we are looking for another host, a co-host, uh, to help me out here uh, because none of the other Northwest Sportscast hosts want to talk about hockey with me. <laughs> I'm the only one. So uh, for those of you who are interested in the position, just leave us a message over at our official Instagram page. That's NW Sportscast. And uh, we would love to have you guys on board. We need one co-host. Um, it's not a paid position. It's just like it'll be a Zoom meeting, probably like 20 to 30 minutes a week. It's not that big of a commitment. If you know your stuff, you love hockey, you want to spend 20 minutes a week on Zoom with us uh, talking about hockey and getting it on YouTube and you want to join the team, we'd love to have you. So please, please consider it. Uh, we're looking uh, for a co-host right now. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the Northwest Sportscast, episode one of The Icebreaker.